Hi guys, this is Harvey from All Hearts Pool and Spa. YouTube is a good thing, and I explain to everybody, read and understand your owner's manual and your local codes. Read and understand everything. There is a man on YouTube, don't get me wrong, I think YouTube's a, are good spots. In fact, all my spots, I tell them, I could be giving you wrong information for your state. They're a good learning curve, but I want to touch one of my pet peeves. This, um, I forget what he tells me, I think it's a Jandy. We can watch the video. And then he says something else that bothers me, but that's neither here or there. And this is a gas heater, be it a Jandy, a Haywood. This looks like Haywood, but it didn't sound, didn't, I don't think it was written up as a Haywood. But in here is your gas line, okay? 99% of the states were your owner's manual. And I'll tell you, this is a pet peeve. I don't care if it's against the law. You do not do it. And I think in most states, it's against the law. This is a gas line. Here is a gas union that can be taken apart and pulled out. Well, the reason why you don't put a gas union inside of the cabinet, why it's against the law, is because it is capable of loosening up, purging out gas, and when this heater is ready to fire up, it'll be a atom bomb, okay? You put the pipe in, you put, um, pri uh, he said any kind of um, lubricant, um, any kind of sealant, which again is wrong for gas, you have to use gas approved Teflon tape or whatever. Usually Teflon tape is yellow. It has to be approved for gas because it can do certain chemical things and things you don't want to know. Okay? But this is wrong. We're going to watch the video. It, like I said, these YouTube videos are good. But you need to read and understand your owner's manual. I don't care if you have a so-called expert or whatever. You need to understand what was done. So let's watch this video and um, let's watch it. I'm not crying. Maybe the guy doesn't know, but that's what I'm saying. You need to get all kinds of permits and you need to be shab shabby in knowing this is illegal. And um, please email me your questions. Harvey, I think this is happening. Is it legal? And I'll voice you my opinion. State to state varies. I don't know. But this is a pet peeve of mine. You're capable of, of losing your house right here because of this union. Let's go. Let's listen to this. Purple or violet. Mm -hmm. The green is a ground. Anyway, the hardest wire is this blue one that comes out of the cabinet. This, yeah, I'll leave you the old board you can play with. Okay. It comes off of here. Uh -huh. In order to access that, you got to take the four screws out. When you pull that blue wire out, very important, you hold this down. If you just yank it, you break the black thing off the board and mm -hmm. you throw away the board. So you just hold it, pull the wire out. Um, turn the power off and physically turn the gas off. Mm -hmm. The biggest thing you got to do is when you undo this, you got to uh, either unthread it or unthread this end. You got to put a cap on it. Do not leave the pipe open for the night. Okay. Okay. And where do I get a cap from? Uh, Blackman or okay. whoever's down the street. Three it's three quarter cap. Can be made out of anything, plastic, galvanized, black iron, doesn't matter. But uh, very important, you do not leave a gas pipe open because a couple of things happen. One thing is things crawl in there. You put everything back together in the spring and you won't know it and nothing will work. The other thing that happens is somebody works on your pool and they don't realize it. They see the valve off over on the side, they turn it on, and gas is coming out. And then we have a different problem. <laughs> yeah. And the, uh, 
Yeah, and then this whole thing slides out. Yeah, this, uh, this, I see screws over there. Yeah, this screw here, which you really don't need. They're shipping screws. I'll leave them loose. And this screw. What I usually do, turn the gas off, this two wrenches, unscrew from the valve, and then the whole tray slides out if you slide this out of the way, and this, the pipe's out of it. Uh -huh. okay. Beautiful. When I put it back together, I put some um, uh, Any kind of plumbing stove on it. Yeah, anything. You, you really don't. It's been used. Just when you're all done, just put a little soapy water on it. Make sure you don't have any leaks. Uh-huh. It's not, uh, not a lot they can do. Okay, great. Appreciate it. All right, guys. Let me talk to you about a couple of pet peeves that I would criteria. The man did a pretty good job. He, he, he's probably doing the best he can, and it, he, he's fairly knowledgeable. A number one, the union inside that cabinet you take out. A number two, any kind of cap that you put on, these either should be black or galvanized. I use if you're going to use it there. Yes, he's right. You should never leave a pipe unintended. You should never walk away from it. The other thing is, um, he said a plastic cap. Well, you can't use. Well, you can, but you're not supposed. This is a hobby law, all right. You use a galvanized or a black cap. The reason why is because okay. You go and say, okay, I'm going to put some Teflon tape on and I'm going to use this plastic cap. Well, the problem with these plastic caps, you wrench them on and they crack and split because you used the wrong dope that doesn't go for the plastic cap. So you assuming it's capped and the cap is cracked. You don't use plastic caps on gas. All right. Um, the other thing he mentioned, soapy water. All right, there is thing called, and you, that's why I said you really need to call a gas person. Let me give you an example. You're testing that one little section, but you turned off your whole system, your first stage regulators, your second stage regulators, your second and your first stage regulator. It's if it's propane, okay? If it's propane, you got these regulators. The reason why I don't like testing just there, I like testing the whole system. Say you shut down the system and your first stage or the second stage regulator decides to leak. All right, You're testing at that one area, but yet you have a leak that you don't know about. There is called a manometer test. It's a pressure test. It's called a manometer test on propane. And use it for um, natural too, but it's a manometer test. And you put your manometer where it's supposed to be and you hold the pressure for 15 minutes. And if you hold the pressure for 15 minutes, you don't have gas. So you just don't check gas at one particular area. All right, guys, little education. This should be a Harvey law. Be safe out there. You all know me. It's about safety. It's about pool chemistry and it's about having fun. People are going to start dying because of stupid little things like this. You, you can't see it before that union. It's not supposed to be in that cabinet. And if you read and understand most owner's manuals, they'll tell you that they don't want a union inside the cabinet. So if owner's manual says they do not want a union inside the cabinet, Article 87, Chapter 9 basically says if um, the owner's manual supersedes um, the current or state law, you're supposed to do what you're supposed to do. Okay, so it so supersedes any state or federal law, you're supposed to do it. You never want to put a gas union inside of a wall, cabinet, or anything else like that because it can loosen up. Again. I'm Harvey All Parts. That is my personal opinion. You can email me at Harvey at All Parts. No, Harvey All Parts at gmail.com. Sorry, guys, I get to ramble and I get confused. Take care. Bye.